Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers, sisters, and respected elders, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the beginning of the Quran, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ This is the book, without doubt, providing guidance to those who are God conscious. The Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we must always treat it with, with respect. We should never leave it open, lying around, or in an unclean place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Waqra, لا يمسه إلا المطهرون And none should touch the Quran without being purified. Thus, we should always be in a state of tahara when handling the Quran. The Blessed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us to spend as much of our free time reciting the Quran so that it may intercede for us on the Day of Judgment. However, simply reading the Qur'an without following its teachings is not enough. We must learn it and apply it to our life, for the Qur'an was revealed as a guidance to mankind. By understanding the meaning and pondering upon it, we will learn to truly love the Holy Book. The Sahaba anhum loved it so much, they would weep just from hearing the recitation. We should always look toward the Qur'an when we have a problem, whether it be physical or emotional. In Surah Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And we sent down the Qur'an as a healing and a mercy for those who believe. We must also try and memorize as much of the Qur'an as we can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an itself that it has been made easy to read and to memorize. We must not interrupt the recitation of the Qur'an. And instead, we should listen to it and pay attention. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would recite the Qur'an with clear distinction between each letter. When reciting the Qur'an, we must also make it clear and beautiful with correct tajweed, for that is the way it was revealed. In the end, I would like to remind everyone to treat the Qur'an with respect, recite it consistently, and apply it to our lives. I will end this speech with a hadith from the Prophet sallallahu You will not return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with anything better than that which came from him, the Qur'an. May Allah grant all of us the tawfiq to, may Allah grant all of us the tawfiq to apply the Qur'an to our lives. Ameen.